these structures. I expect you to protect yourself at all times and give me a good clean break. Touch gloves and good luck. Matisse weight triple header. We get things started here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and we are underway with round number one. One of the interesting aspects, the hand prop that he's had over the years, he feels are no longer a problem. Keep on Cintron and keep throwing punches, knocked out. Liners tonight. There's not real electricity here at the moment. They're going to have to create the electricity with the action in the ring. And I anticipate that's what will indeed. Cintron trying to work that. Swinging left hook, left hand to the belly by Cintron. Good right hand. And pressing the action. And Cintron is trying to catch and counter as many Emmanuel Stewart fighters are trained to do. Good right hand Big by right Cintron. Hand by Hurt Matisse. Matisse's never been knocked down. He's a right hand and he goes down for the first time in his career. Right uppercut that started it. Hit him right, hit Cintron, hit, hit Matisse right on the butt. In fact, I think there was a straight right hand that preceded that uppercut. That was the, the punch that got him out of the way. But Cintron is a devastating one punch knockout guy. He can start you, if not finish you, with one right hand. Right hand sends Matisse down again. With the commands of Grant ascending right now. And the quicker hands of Cintron. Oh, and a left right combination of Matisse down, and it's over. In round number two. The accuracy of Kermit Cintron was the difference. Matisse is a devastating left hooking puncher, but could not land that shot against the much more accurate. And this is from a devastating punch. He's done himself a disservice here because the action never really, really built to a crack. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 29 seconds of round number two. The winner by KO victory, still IBF welterweight champion of the world, Hermit, the killer, Sintro.